to Washington. That's the pragmatic things I've been working on. It's families who are still struggling with the recovery for Sandy because even though the cameras are gone, they're still out there working hard for their families. And so we fought to ease funding back here in the state of New Jersey. I, I've stood up and I've been fighting for common sense things like this idea in New Jersey and in America that if you're willing to work to put in 40 and 50 hours a week working, that you should not live below the poverty line, and we as a state and a nation should raise the minimum wage. I went down to Washington to fight against these schemes like the privatization of Social Security that would make market downturns plunge our families into economic despair, to stand up for Social Security that indeed, if you've worked all your life, you should be able to die and retire with dignity and security. As you heard here, you can definitely applaud that. I went down and looked and said, hey, Ronald Reagan and George Bush and presidents going all the way back for generations have stood up and said, hey, when the economy's bad, we should extend the unemployment insurance. That's something I fought for. I fought for the reality in New Jersey that family after family told me that it is getting ridiculous that we have cost of college education going up and up and up. Literally now, on average, 50% of the median household earnings will go to just trying to pay those college bills. The families are having to make that difficult decision that they're setting aside acceptance letters because they don't think they can afford the college bill. I've been down in Washington fighting to make college more affordable. to make sure that a woman is right. And a woman cannot lose the freedom to make her own medical decisions, working to make sure that individuals who are struggling for the first time to get health insurance can actually do that. That's what we have to work on in America and in our state. Getting back to the basic economic fundamental empowerment that makes our family strong. It is that prosperity agenda. There are no shortcuts there. It'll be tough work, but I know we have the grit and the strength in New Jersey to get these things done.